George Zahardan. George Zahar off. Zahardan. George gives off hardons. Georgie Porgy Zahardan. There it is. George Zaharov. Zaharov. Ha. Oh. David Zaharov. Hasselhoff. Ha. Oh. Hi. Anyways, um, I got a box. Shit. Immediately almost fucked it all up in two seconds. Unexpected. The un expect the unexpected. Let's smell George's box. All the way from Chicago, right next door. Right next door, George. Fucking paper. Don't give a shit about that. Oh, look at the wrapping. That's nice. God damn, it's a heavy... It's a fucking heavy bottle. What's this? All my best, Joey. Hey, that's pretty nice. He put a fucking smiley face on there. Fuck you guys. I got a smiley face. Oh shit, this is like the whole... Oh man, it's like the whole bottle fucking composition. Look at this! Fucking Luigi! Oh, Mario Luigi! Designed by George. Oh my god, it's got all the information. That's kind of fucking cool. He got me a letter. I know I, uh, people told me he gives other people letters, but fuck you, this is my letter. I'm gonna, fr I'm gonna fucking frame it, hang it up on my wall of accomplishments. Uh, inspiration can come from the unexpected. So can unwanted pregnancies. That's enough of George's but What's this? The fuck? I like this wrapping. This fucking... Oh, shit. After shave lotion. George, it puts the lotion on the skin. You rub it in. You know, George has a nice beard himself. Me, uh, I'm, I've turned into a beard boy of sorts. Go back to my earlier videos, I had a clean face. Now I'm, I'm popping beard. I'm big beard business. I'm, I'm white beard business. Uh, nice glass. I don't, what is this, cum in here? What's the consistency? Does this smell like Zahar? Should, should this be my first impression? It smells very classy. Is that your fucking cum, George? Tastes like oud, camel spit. It's actually kind of good. You really get a taste for fragrances when you put them in your mouth. Tastes like high quality first class on an airplane. The fucking kid in school that eats glue. I like the smell. It's got a bit of a classic aftershave scent to it. But like, for rich people who have aftershave. Hey George, you mind if I spit in your box? It's making my mouth numb. What is this? I gotta call the CDC? What is it? Pull the fucking NFCPA. I got more George Sahara off on me. Who needs to shave? Holy fuck, he signed the goddamn bottle to Joey the Cannoli. Don't ever change. George, look at this. Look at the box. What's in the fucking box? Oh shit. How about that for some presentation? You know, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Not bad. Oh my god, what is this? 24 karat? Ooh, it's nice and cold being outside. Nice Wisconsin air. Beautiful fucking bottle. Very timeless looking. Very classy with the edging. You ever see two lesbians do the edging where they, they masturbate and but they don't come? It's better not be a splash. Alright, we're well, good. Some girls' pussies look like that. Anyways, first impression of Zaharoff Signature Pour Home. I like the dark colored juice. What the fuck is that? Look at that. That's nice. Here we go, bitch. One spray. Everyone knows the rules. Just like Portnoy. One bite.
Now that's how you make a fucking cologne. Jesus Christ. This is probably one of the more classier scents that I wear. Uh, I feel like I wear slutty douchebag fragrances, but... <sighs> that is fucking good. That is an honest to God first and fuck impression. You already know that what I say is my word and I don't fucking break it for nobody, little Tony Montana. This is, this is such a... It's just classy. I don't know. I mean, this makes me want to stop saying pussy so much. This is a, a scent that you can wear out on a date. This is a fragrance that you can wear to work. This is a fragrance that you can wear in the comfort of your own home. My camera died in the middle of the review. Fuck. It's alright. I'm burping up. I'm burping up small batch handcrafted gentleman's nod aftershave. It's a nice one ounce. Um. Oh, for external use only. This is why you should read the directions, guys. Um, this is a nice little pump. I like that. Oh, fuck, George. Oh, Zahara! Oh my god, there's so much! I got it on my fucking shoes, George! What are you gonna do now? Who says you need to shave after? Why not shave before? Hmm. Like I was saying, this is a Swiss Army knife. This fragrance, I can't pinpoint a specific season because it really smells like it can pull off any type of weather. You know, it's just that initial impression. I'm so used to getting blasted with synthetic and alcohol. It's nice to spray something on and just have it be beautifully applied. It's like shooting a perfect glue rope. That covers the girl's entire face. One shot and you're there. This is a, a smoky, masculine, sweet, a little fruit, a little sweet in here. But it's soft. It's, an, it's alluring. It's something that dances in the air like the fucking sugar clump fla fairies. Flairies? Sugar plum fairies. It's a symphony of notes orchestrated in such a fucking way that you just end up fucking crying because it's, it's so beautiful. The box, the scent, the man is all beautiful, classy, elegant, sophisticated, timeless. To me, this looks like something out of the 80s. But it smells like you took the best of the fucking decades and you just made something to celebrate all of the fucking good. If a 1980s fragrance fucked a, a, a 2020, 2019 fragrance, holy shit, it's the cops. Fuck, it was only a joke. Fuck me. Give me a chance. Do a little dance. This is hands down. Ooh, it's a fucking 4 ounce, 120 ml. Very nice. Distributed by Zaharoff, Chi Town, Illinois. Gotta represent Chicago right next door. Huh? Little fucking pizza puff. Little deep dish. Motherfucker's 6'4. He's in great shape. He's got a fucking uh, Euro sized dick. This is huge. It's huge. What a classy scent. This is a special occasion for me. I'm not going to ruin a good thing. But the beauty about this is I feel like anybody can pull this off. If you appreciate good perfumery and you enjoy a beautiful note composition, this is the fucking perfect scent for you. This is my honest fucking literal first impression. I opened the box with you guys. With you guys. I can't make this shit up on the spot. I don't stage or rehearse anything. 
This is this is how you release a fucking fragrance. This no wonder they sell this at fucking Nordstrom. This motherfucker ain't gonna be sitting on the shelves at Marshalls and fucking TJ Maxx. It's too nice. And what a fucking privilege that I get to be one of the people to experience this as a fucking gift. And he even signed his box. Now I'm going to sign his box when I meet him. I'm going to take a black marker and I'm going to sign his ass. I swear to God. Or his gooch. I'm going to put Joey Cannoli and I'm going to shoot some cream right between his thighs. And he's going to fucking love it. Because George is a, is a bro. But once it's on your skin, it's like a fucking phoenix rising out of the ashes. It's fucking beautiful. Expect the unexpected, you fuck. You have to experience the beauty unfold. It's like walking in at the end of a fucking movie and saying that sucked. You don't even know what happened. But I know what happened. A fucking masterpiece. God damn. What a treat. This is a fucking top shelf. This is a fucking 4.8 out of 5 in my book. This is... Once again, when I find fragrances that relax me, that comfort me, like a warm blanket, not like a smallpox blanket, but like a warm blanket, and and it's like your fucking binky when you're a baby, it's like sucking on your mama's titty. There's something relaxing about it. I wouldn't advise doing that as a grown man, that's a little fucky, but when you're a baby, you can get away with that shit. You know, why is it okay to suck on a titty when you're a baby, but then when you suck on a titty when you're older, I mean, what are you guys, a bunch of fucking hypocrites? Initial spray is fucking almost a 5 out of 5. Oof. You can tell time, money, hard work, and a lot of blood, sweat, and cum drops went into this. Honestly, I'm not just, I'm not blowing my fucking load up George's ass by any means. This is something that took time and it's it's amazing it's like when an author creates a fucking book damn and you know for the price i seen the price that they were asking for for a four ounce people pay fucking double that for some of these scents this belongs on your shelf if you're a collector the bottle alone is going to catch your attention i mean fucking look at it and I love that dark colored fucking juice. I love the darks. I love the juice. You know? I wonder if this is the color of George's juice. Fuck. What a gift. Thank you very much. You guys are all fucking great. I'm in a good fucking mood. I can't wait till Julissa comes home and smells this. Damn, I wasn't I wasn't expecting this. I I wasn't expecting to be that impressed. I, I wasn't. I thought it was gonna be okay. Uh, don't listen to fucking reviews. Try it for yourself. If you can get a, if you can acquire a sample, give it a shot. You have to get this on your skin. You can't be coaxed by other people telling you that it's amazing or telling you that it sucks or it. Is. You have to just try it. And if you have the opportunity to take advantage of it, I am so fucking happy that I was able to try this. This is like finally fucking the hot girl that you've been after for four or five years. And then once you fucking get her in bed, you're just like, even if I come in two pumps, what a fucking ride it's been. I'm gonna go take a nap because that's how fucking relaxed I am. You ever take a really fucking big shit and after you're done shitting, you feel rejuvenated? That's how this fragrance makes me feel. It's calming. My anxiety was fucking through the roof when it was in my mouth because I didn't know if I should swallow it. I was going to have to call up George and be like, what happens if I eat the fucking uh, uh, aftershave? And thank you very much. He not only sent me a bottle, but he sent me aftershave lotion for my beard. And I have a feeling it's going to make it nice and soft. I'm, I'm, can you put this on your pubes, George? Let me know. And it also, you know, you could do a little layering effect. Your beard smells like Zaharoff, and then your neck, and then you nestle in, you let someone get fucking close to you, you let them get Glenn Close, 101 Dalmatians, no, 101 hand jobs, because that's what this is going to get you. This is the difference between fucking a slut and then fucking a woman. This is a classy woman, a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Zaharoff Signature Pour Ohm, expect a proper review, I think I'm going to wear this for the rest of the week. Expect a proper review in the future when I get to know this fragrance. But first impressions sometimes are everything. And I'm fucking in love. Not bad, George. Not fucking bad.
I'm Joey Canoli. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Guys, shout outs to George Zaharoff. Interview, you know, reviewing the reviewers. Taking us on this fucking journey. And actually making something, you know, come to life. That's what gotta be one of the most satisfying things. Is creating something. I mean, besides having a fucking baby. This is his baby. You know what I mean? It's fucking beautiful. You got a beautiful baby. It's a goddamn Gerber baby. It's choking on its own little carrots. I gotta go. I, I ramble too much. George, I just want to say fucking thank you for everything. And I can't wait till we meet up in the future. Expect chaos and a good time. But I want you to see how it smells on me. Is it the way you envisioned it, George? Do you fucking like it? I gotta go. God bless. It's been a half hour. I actually stopped the review to let this actually develop on my skin. And not for nothing, but between the relaxing fucking, like, la like, like, genuine fucking fresh off the field lavender with the, the incense-y smokiness, this is definitely one of the best fragrances I've smelled in years. Um... And for any of you guys that love that vintage-esque masculine smell, this is a no-brainer. Uh, it opens so beautifully, and it dries down even more smooth than I anticipated. Um, what a fucking gem of a fragrance. Seriously. Th this is as masculine... As you can get in my opinion. This smells strong. It's got a vintage-esque vibe to it. It smells like a proper fucking gentleman. Not these cuck boy soy boys you see today. Like a nice dapper fucking Don. This is niche. This is fucking art. This, this isn't here to please everybody. But when it does please, it pleases you fucking hard. Good shit, George. Good shit.